Hey guys, are you ready to play some more Minecraft? Yeah, Joe. I was actually thinking that we should try out a hardcore world. Ooh, wow, that sounds like fun, Donald. Yeah, I'm down to play some hardcore. Awesome. All right, guys, let's hop on the realm. Also, to all of you watching, make sure to like and subscribe for part two because I said so. Wow, Donald, that is a bit aggressive with it, don't you think? Whatever, Barack. Let's just get on the realm already. Oh, wow, guys. I'm so excited to finally be starting a new world again. Yeah, Joe. I feel like Minecraft is most fun when you are still starting up. Yeah, Donald. Starting fresh is so exciting. I especially cannot wait to see in what way that sleepy Joe is going to die first. Oh, come on, Donald. Have at least a little bit of faith in me. What if I am not the first one to die? Joe, if you are not the first one to die, I will eat my own shoe. Okay, then, well, how about we ask the viewers? If you think that I will not be the first one to die, then put Donald is a shoe eater in the comments. Okay, fine, Joe. And if you think that Joe will be the first one to die, then put Sleepy Joe sucks at Minecraft in the comments. Okay, well, now that we are going to see everyone agreeing with me, what are you all doing? I am just getting food for us at the moment. Right now, I'm just getting all of the wood from this village. Yeah, me too, Donald. That is an L for these villagers. Yeah, these scrubs should have learned how to build properly LMAO. Why can you guys not just get your wood from a tree? It is working fine for me. We are taking the wood from these scrubs because they need to learn their place in the food chain, Joe. Minecraft is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Yeah, Joe. We cannot let these complete bots go without getting punished for being trash. You guys do realize that you are talking about literal NPCs, right? See, Joe, there is the spirit. Now come and help us own these bots. No, Donald. I mean, like, they are literally NPCs. They cannot get upset at you. Your point being? That just sounds like more of a reason to rob them for everything that they have. But why would you take wood from the villager's house when you could just take the wood from the tree that is right next to you instead? Because of a little thing called survival of the fittest, Joe. We are the alpha predators, the top Gs, the absolute giga chads of this Minecraft world. We need to assert our dominance now so that later on they will not even think about questioning us. Slay, queen! Donald, that has to be one of the dumbest things that I have ever heard. They will not question us because they cannot question anything. They literally cannot think for themselves. You could never possibly begin to understand the absolute Chad way of thinking that me and Barack have, Joe. You're simply just too much of a beta male to get our big brain plays. But I do not understand why you cannot just mine the resources normally instead of destroying the village for them. It is not like there is anything rare in those villages. Do not worry, Joe. Just stop questioning our Sigma brain plan. You just worry about whatever it was that you were doing. Okay, then, well, I'm going to mine for my resources like a normal person then. Since I, in fact, do not need to destroy a village just to get myself some cobblestone. And back you go to get more cobblestone for me. You see, Joe, there is a natural order to these things. One that I'm on the top of. Screw you, Donald. This cobblestone is for me and me only. Unlike all of the other times that you have managed to peer pressure me into being your resource, bitch. This time I'm going to be independent of you two bozos. Old Joe Biden is going to be looking out for number one. Joe, you are definitely going to be the first one to die. Hey, shut up, Obama. No, I will not. I'm going to be just fine. Joe, you have about as much of a chance of not being the first of us to die as this iron golem does to not die within the next 10 seconds. Why on earth are you killing the villagers' iron golems as well? Iron is not a hard resource to find, Don. Why not just go and get some? Because this way is easier, Joe. What did I say about questioning our plan? Now get back to being our resource, bitch. Yeah, Joe. Get back to gathering cobblestone for us. My mining arm is starting to get tired of picking up the slack for you. Hey, screw you guys. Stop making me out to be the resource, bitch. Joe, you are locked in as the resource, bitch, until the end of time. If you are left to do anything else, you will just screw it up so you will forever be our own personal cobblestone generator. No way. Screw you guys. This realm is going to be the one where I show you both just how cool I can be. I am going to build an amazing house, and I am going to become so insanely rich that you will both be begging me for forgiveness. Whatever, Joe. When you inevitably die first, I am going to laugh my ass off right before I banish you into being the resource bitch for the rest of time. In the meantime, though, I'm going to gather myself some food. Okay, well, while you two are doing that, I'm going to go and find a cave so that we can start getting some actually useful tools made. 
Oh, sorry, Joe. I think I just killed your mother by mistake. Oh, very funny, Donald. You know what? I think I had carrot and coriander soup yesterday, so I am also sorry for destroying your family tree there. Stop saying that my tan makes me look like a carrot, Joe. My tan looks incredible. I get compliments on my tan all of the time. I would even say that my tan might be the best tan ever. Donald, your tan comes out of a spray can. If I wanted to get a tan like yours, I would ask the Oompa Loompas for their skincare routine. Joe, if you were in a situation where you were in the same room as an Oompa Loompa, you would be too preoccupied with falling into the chocolate river. No way, Donald. If I were inside of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, I would definitely be the one to win and get the chocolate factory all to myself. No way, Joe. You would definitely be the guy that gets shrunk down. Ooh, yeah, I can see that. Screw you guys. No, I would not. Oh, you definitely would, Joe. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> Meanwhile, I will be the one to take the chocolate factory. I would spend all day eating all of the chocolate that I could possibly get my hands on. And I would make sure that the door would slam on your hugely shrunk ass on your way out of my factory. Donald, there is no way that you would win the factory. Yeah, Donald. You are more likely to be the guy that got stuck in the pipes. Oh, that would so be, Donald. Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. No, it would not. I would win the chocolate factory because winning is all that I ever do. There is literally no possible way that I could not win the factory. Donald, you would have about as much of a chance of winning the factory as you do for ever getting back into office. Hey, fuck you, Barack. Not only would I so win the factory, but just you watch. In the next election, I am going to take it home. Trump 2024, Barack, mark it on your calendar. My calendar? Donald, who the fuck still owns a calendar? Yeah, actually, you are right. Who the fuck would own a calendar nowadays? What do you guys mean? I still have a calendar. Why would I not? Joe, what the fuck do you need a calendar for? Do you not have a phone? Of course I have a phone, Donald. Why would I not have a phone? If you have a phone, then why do you not just use the calendar that is built in with your phone? Phones do not have calendars on them, dummy. How would that even work? Oh my God, Joe, how do you not know how that would work? What are you using, an old Nokia brick phone or something? Of course not, Donald. That is old tech now. I have copped one of those sleek new flip phones. They are so much more convenient. Wait, do you mean the flip phones with two screens or the flip phones with the keypad? The ones with the keypad, obviously. How on earth would having two screens even work? Oh my God, Joe, you were actually stuck in the 90s. Whatever, you guys. Can we just go to sleep now? Those have probably been the sweetest words I've ever heard you say, Barack. Whatever, Sleepy Joe. All right, guys, now that we are in day two, how about we head out and start getting some stuff done? That sounds good to me, Donald. I will try and find whatever I can around the village. And I will try to get started on a farm. All right, that sounds cool, Barack. Boy, oh boy, I cannot wait to see what I can find. You know, I'm out here killing animals for us to eat, while it feels like you two gays are doing nothing to help. I'm currently making a hoe so we can have a farm running Donald. I am helping you, bitch. And I'm mining sponge blocks so we can get water easier. The last time I saw you, Joe, you were mining hay blocks. They might be hay blocks then. Can I still capture water like a Pikamon with hay blocks? Biden, did you just say Pikamon? Yeah, Pikamon, it's what all the young, fresh, pubescent teens are playing, isn't it? It's fucking Pokemon, you shithead. P-O-K-E-N, Pokemon. Also, Biden, did you just say young, fresh, pubescent teens? Yes, I did. Biden. It's a good job you're not in Pokemon. You wouldn't catch Pokemon with your balls. You'd catch Misty Dawn and May you sick fuck. I'm sick? That's rich coming from Mr. Fatty over here? I'm just big boned. I'm currently cooking KFC. KFC is very healthy because it's chicken. Thank you very much. No, Donald, that's not how that works. You do know that, right? No, it's chicken, so it's healthier than most other places. KFC is my main source of protein for bulking. Donald, that isn't... You know what? I don't care enough about your weight and what you eat. In fact, it would make the world a better place if you just died. Fuck you, Biden. Young girls would feel safer if you died. To be fair, Donald, most of America would feel safer if you died. Shut the fuck up, Obama. Who the fuck got you involved? No one. So back the fuck off. Hey, we're on call. It's not like you can privately speak to him without me hearing, bitch. You're a fucking dumbass, Trump. Did you just take my meat, Sleepy Joe? No. Don't let him bully you, Joe. If you needed food, you needed food. Come on, fucking gravel, please. Yes, thank fuck. No, it's my fucking food, not for Sleepy Joe. He already has his carrots. But I only have one carrot left. That's not true. I just saw you harvest loads. Get the fuck out of my furnace. I'll set you on fucking fire if you do it again, Sleepy Joe. You wouldn't burn an old man. I would smell bad when I burn like old cabbages. You don't want that, Donald. See, I don't, but I also really want to burn, you bitch.
Yeah, I'm a nimble young man, Donald. You're not young and you're not smart. I am smart, thank you. That would have been a nice play, Donald, but you won't outplay me. I'll get you at some point. I'll get you when you're least expecting it. Good luck with that, Donald. Ah, fuck you, Donald. Burn, Sleepy Joe, burn. Ah, fuck it, Burns. Donald, I'm losing health. Donald, I'm gonna fucking die. Sleepy Joe, there's water right next to us, you shithead. Have you guys done anything fucking productive in the last minute? Been more productive in the last minute than Sleepy Joe has been since he became president. Look at how sick this is going to be. We goddamn, that was fucking fun. You sound like a little kid. I better be careful of Creepy Joe then. Oh, I fuck you. I'm not that creepy, guys. Joe, you fucking creep me out, and I've seen your mom's no-no area. When did you see mommy's no-no area? Last night when I went around and gave her the dump and run Trump experience. Is that the same experience you gave our country when you fucked all of America with? When you dumped and run from them? I made America great, and you fucking know I did. I never fucked over America once. Oh, yeah, that's why everyone lived through COVID-19, wasn't it? Biden, shut the fuck up about COVID-19. It was so two years ago, you shit, Brian. Also, Obama, what the fuck are you doing over there? I'm building my own sky base as I didn't want to live in yours. Yeah, well, mine's going to be way cooler than yours ever fucking could dream of being. No, mine's going to be the best there ever is. Do you see what I did there? I made another Pokemon reference. P-O-K-M-O, not Pokemon. It's fucking Pokemon, you moron. Okay, I made my home. It's a lot smaller than the White House, but it's home. That's not a fucking sky base. That's not even a base. I know you're lonely Obama and we're your only friends, but fucking hell, that's a new level of sad. It's cute, adorable, fuzzy, uwu, the same size that small wizard boy lives in. What's his name? Did you just say uwu? You fucking disgust me, man. The small wizard boy, what's his name? Something like Luke, yeah, Luke Skywalker. That's fucking Star Wars, you dumbass. Yeah, the one where he goes on that journey to the Death Star and kills Dark Vader. No, it's fucking Darth Vader. As a huge Star Wars nerd, I demand you get it fucking right. Dark Vader, Dark Vader, Dark Vader. I'll fucking hit you. Oh, oh, did you just get hit off by me, LOL? Fuck you, I'm going to my house. I'm coming to look at your hobbit hole. Well, this is my beautiful one-room cottage for 650 a night. Ha ha ha, the bed's mine. It will smell like you. Belle Delphine sold bathwater for so much money. Think how much I'll get for Obama's bed. Donald, you didn't pick up my bed, dumb fuck. Oh, fuck. I was going to make so much money from your bed, because if people are willing to pay for Belle Delphine's bathwater, then people will 100% buy your sweaty bed sheets. I once brought bathwater from the Google thingy. What the fuck, Biden? Who from Sleepy Joe? I don't know. One day I was searching for a fan for my bedroom and went onto this website called OnlyFans. And when I saw what it was, I went to click away. But I saw her and her beautiful pink hair and small, cute, innocent body, and I brought her bath water. Joe, what the actual fuck is wrong with you? How'd it taste, Joe? Did it taste bad? Did it taste disgusting and like bath water? No, it tasted sweet and like a cute pretty girl had soaked her juicy body into it and melted hard into a small shot of water that I guzzled down. Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck is wrong with you, Biden? Hey, what can I say? Me and Leonardo da Vinci just like our girls a bit younger. Leonardo da Vinci? The guy who painted the fucking Mona Lisa? No, Leonardo da Vinci. The guy in the Titanic. That's fucking Leonardo DiCaprio, you fucking shithead. Jesus, you really need to get tested for dementia, Joe. Oi, Joe, I'm gonna break some blocks for you. Hear him helping. Oi, no, fuck off, Donald. Stop breaking my fucking blocks, man. I'm helping, Biden. I'm helping you, man. Fuck. You know what? This house so is much better than my shitty sky base. I'll fucking burn it so my base will be the fucking best. Oi, Trump, fuck off and leave my house alone, you fucking bitch. You know when cool-looking people walk away from an explosion, that's me with your house? Ah, oh, fucking leave my house alone, you fucking bitch. Stop fucking hitting me. I just want my house to not burn. What the fuck are you doing to Biden's house, Donald? I'm burning it and Biden alive. Come here, Biden. Stop fucking running. Stop trying to fucking burn me, Donald. Go and have your fucking protein KFC for food, not me. Here, Biden, I'll give you a hand putting the fire out. Because some of us don't have our egos up our asses. Some of us are okay with others having cooler houses. Not me. I have to have the coolest fucking house because I'm the coolest fucking person. You have to fucking ruin everything, don't you? It's like playing with my fucking siblings all over again, Donald. You fucking suck. I don't fucking care. Your house is shit while mine still looks cool. As much as Biden has done some questionable things today, like telling us he brought bath water, at least he's not a cocky bitch like you, Donald. Cocky? You think I'm cocky? Please, you wouldn't know a cock if it slapped you in the face. Yours is so small, you don't even know what it looks like. I've been called hung like a horse before. Thank you very much, Donald. Well, if Michelle ever wants a cocky cock, send her my way. Fuck you, Donald. Actually, fuck you. I'm breaking your fucking house. 
Leave my house the fuck alone. Keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. What the fuck are you still breaking my fucking house for? Fuck off, Donald, or I'll fucking wreck you, kid. You're lucky I'm too busy building my sky base. Otherwise, I'd fucking kill you. LOL, would you now? Ah, uh, fuck guys, there are llamas. Don't worry, I can kill them. They're no match for me. Donald, are you building a fucking wall? A wall will keep the llamas and Mexicans out. Just you watch. Guys, the llamas being friendly. Just like the Mexicans, that's what they want you to think. What do you mean, I'm patting it, Donald? They are so cute and adorable. Oh, fuck, never mind, the wall's a good idea. Yeah, now, do you both see what I mean about the wall being good to keep the fucking Mexicans out? Here, take all my blocks, just keep them on the other side. I don't want to become llama food. Okay, guys, I think we're safe. There's nowhere safe when there's no wall to stop the fucking Mexicans. Are they still there? I don't know, let's push you over to find out. Ah, they are 100% still there. Donald, fuck off. Boy, Sleepy Joe, where the fuck do you think you're going? On your base because you destroyed my base? No, go back to your fucking base, Sleepy Joe. I don't have a base because of you. Ah, you bitch! Oops, Biden just kind of slipped Obama, I promise. I saw it from the bottom. It didn't look like he just slipped. Guys, why can't I respawn? Oh, shit, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Whoopsies. No, you fucking did it on purpose. Donald, what the fuck? He can't respawn, you dumb fucking bitch. Don't call me a bitch. I'll fucking kill you. Oh, will you? Go on. Me and you right fucking now, G. Yeah, fuck you, Obama. Who's better at gaming, bitch? Fuck you, Donald. Seeing as I'm now alone in this world, I'm gonna go out the stylish, cool way of burning myself alive in a ball of fury and blaze. I'll see you two gays tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will nuke you.